the sharing center and we are going to go to games. This is the game spinner. I'm going to search for game boards. I want to show you this is a really cool feature. So J alternative spellings. Okay. Um, we're just going to use the other download formats. Remember that pulls it down as PowerPoint. And if you're a, a Google user, please pay attention to this because remember you can save PowerPoint files into Google Slides and it'll convert it to a Google Slide for you. So this is important for you as well. And we have an add-in for Google Slides that also works. So notice this little checkbox for material. I'm going to check that box and I'm gonna say PowerPoint fixed with tokens. So this is the one that pulled it down with tokens on the side. And I'm going to open that up. And so I'm going to delete off the tokens I don't want. Take the tokens I do want, put them on the different start areas really quick. And then I can come right in here. And notice I've got my insert symbols guy right here. I did the same thing with the add-ins option. So I can just bring this up. And I'm going to use the play tool and make a spinner. And I'm going to make numbers one through five. And now I can literally share this on um, my whiteboard or whatever. And this guy is going to move two and he's going to play the game. So I literally have a spinner in here. But I can also even do searches for any type of image I want. So maybe I want um, one of the player's icons to be a bear, right? No problem. I can. You can be a bear. And now you can have a token that's a bear, right? Instead of uh, the pink one or something. So great way to do that as well. Let's say that you're working with somebody and she's a little girl and she uses, um, she has glasses, and she uses a walker. Um, so I'm gonna pop this little girl in here and she looks a little bit like this, but our girl likes blue and is brunette as well. So. I zoomed in. I'm going to go to this Browse tab, which are all our folders again. Actions, Activities, ADLs, remember. I'm going to start to type um, Sticker Add-ons. So we have a folder called Sticker Add-ons. And I could put a, you know, Uncle Sam hat on her if I wanted. But we said she wears glasses. So I'm going to drop some glasses on her. And we said she uses a walker, right? This image just became a lot more relevant to her. Let's say her name is Anne, and she uses a walker. So I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to use that as a tag so I could pull this image up again. But I also said she was brunette and she liked blue, right? So let's recolor and customize her. We're going to make her brunette. And we're going to change her dress to blue. And now we're going to save that custom symbol. Now, if I right mouse click her and I say copy image, I can go back to that um, game board. Let's see if I still have it up. I do. And I can paste that right in here. And now she's physically on the game board. We'll take this guy off because she's blue. And so she's physically on the game board and uh, I can go back to my spinner and I can continue playing. So great way to do that as well. That's um, just a good way to pull in our images. How do you change the play tools to have pictures? Um, you just come in here and under, uh, when you go to make something, there are uh, radial buttons. So I'm on numbers. I'm going to change this to tray. And then when I create game, now that has got images. Does it have to be in PowerPoint as you showed? No, it doesn't. Um, when you are in, and I think I still have it up, um, in here, this is a Google slide. So this is just a Google slide. I've got the spinner over here, play tools, browse, they're all right here. So I can do all of that um, within Google Slides.